In this uh, thermodynamic stuff, there's only a couple equations. Let me write them all down for us. They all have to do with delta G, as you can see. Oh, this is a standard. OK, so if you see anything having to do with delta G, if you have any powers of deduction, you don't have to know much in this class. You just look at this and see, what do they give me? Let me plug and choke. And it's really, that's it. So if there's an enthalpy, it has to be the top equation. You see what I mean? And you just can't get around it. Now, when it gets harder, it sometimes will combo two questions. So we'll ask you for delta G not standard, for example. Oh, and note this one can be written a, a second way. You can put standards here if you prefer, or not if you prefer, if you need to. So all those can take standards. So sometimes they can be combo to make a difficult question. And you just combo two of these in some way. What has to be zero here to be equilibrium? Delta G or delta G standard? Delta G has to be zero to be at equilibrium. Okay? So uh, if you find it equals zero, you know you're at equilibrium. What about delta G standard? Except for an unusual question, this is not going to be zero. It will usually be some numerical value, and it doesn't matter if you're at equilibrium or not. Okay? This is tabulated at particular temperature and pressure. Pressure is, uh, the temperature is usually irrelevant, but the pressure is relevant. So note this does not have to be zero to be at equilibrium. Question. Yeah? What's the difference between delta G and delta G standard? Delta G and delta G standard, what's the difference? Delta G standard is tabulated at a particular pressure, sometimes a particular temperature. Okay? So it's a constant. You almost want to think of it as a constant. Delta G is at any temperature, any pressure. Okay? So you want to think of delta G standard kind of like K almost. <laughs> it's at a particular you know, set of conditions. Delta G is more like at Q. It could be any particular conditions. That's why the formula includes Q. That's why the delta G formula includes only K. All right, so this is a particular conditions. This so we can tabulate it. This is any conditions. All right, uh, let me see if I can find a calculation involving this stuff. So we can try one. Here's a good one. Same final, actually. I want to know KEQ. Oh, uh, and for the following reaction, H2 plus I2 goes to HI. Remember to balance, so I better put a 2 there. Uh, OK, there's only two possible ways we could ask this question. What are those two ways? There's only two ways you could find this KQ. One way is if we give you all the equilibrium concentrations. You use an ice table. That's chapter 15. The other way, chapter 19, is if you, you need what value to find KEQ? Yeah, yeah, just look at this equation. It's the only possible one. There's no other possible equation to find KEQ. And in the previous problem, you had to calculate delta G standard. And from, from the previous problem, you got minus 15.98 kilojoules per mole. Is that going to be spontaneous? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, definitely spontaneous. So we're expecting K to be large or small. Large. If it's spontaneous, K better be large. So K, solving for K from that above equation, it's E raised to the delta G standard divided by RT. Um, did I forget it? I forgot my minus sign. Minus. And let's go to the next page, is equal to E raised to the minus, delta G is minus 15.98. And R is, make sure you use this R. And then T, uh-oh, what's T? I didn't even tell you. 25. 
to 98. Okay, so if your standard, so a couple things, let me say a couple things before we do this part. If you're not given the temperature and it says something about standard conditions, put 25 Celsius or 298K. All right, make sure you put it that way. Uh, sometimes it can be given, standard state does not have to be 298. So if it's given, just use the number they tell you. Now what's the other problem I did here? I made a mistake. This is in kilojoules, but this is in joules. I've always got to convert everything to joules, so just multiply by 1,000. This is going to equal 632. That's definitely spontaneous. Uh, the, what's favored here, products or reactants? Products. Products, yeah, if it's spontaneous, that means same thing as uh, products or favored. Okay, good, any questions? We'll move on to the next topic. Yes? This is given on the back of the exam, I suppose for land as well. 